Here we are again, back in the thatched roof cottage. And today I'm trying the Salcom. I learned from some customers earlier, this is a location down the road, so I guess this is a local gin. Um, What's its name again? Salcom. S-A-L-C-O-M-B-E. And this is what it says. Inspired by the Salcom fruiters that brought exotic fruit into Devon. Exceptionally smooth and complex. Those don't go together, do they? I don't know. It's served with Luscombe Indian, which is this Indian tonic water, and lemon. So I've had the, the gin in the, um, the Salcombe gin here in the ice, and I've just been just kind of swirling it. So let me give it a try. It is not, so I just, I just sipped Sue's, who's trying a different one. It's a black tomato. I'm gonna to say it like the English do, the black tomato. Very harsh. This was a little smoother. Um, I don't know if it was complex or not, maybe, but now let's, let's add some Indian. I have to say, I'm not really a fan of tonic, but I've gotten to where I like the flavored ones, like cucumber. The last one I just had was rosemary and basil. It was very nice. But let's see how Indian is. I don't know what Indian is supposed to taste like. Let's try that first. It starts off sweet and finishes bitter, like tonic water. Okay, this one is gin and tonic. Plain and simple. I mean... I don't know about that, what did it say, smooth and complex? It's just gin and tonic. Um, I have to say, it's not my least favorite, but it's kind of middle of the road. Would I recommend it to others? No, I'd go with, with the cucumber or the rhubarb. Um, but maybe that's just because that's what I like better. This one's a little... Or maybe it's just that I prefer the tonic with flavors because since this is just gin and tonic with no flavors, that's kind of what it tastes like. And I'm not necessarily a fan of that. I like the additional flavors that come along with it. So I think I like the flavored tonics better. But, you know, again, I'm going to say what I've said all along. I'm not a gin connoisseur. I'm not even a tonic connoisseur. So don't take my word for it. You should try it yourself. I'm sure it's lovely to, to um, the people who love gin. In fact, you know, the people from Devon, they, they put their name on it. So anyway, cheers and enjoy.